persons involved? Could be both. either or both. Okay. Either or both. So, so ito po, just like itong PDAF scam, ang focus lang po ng NBI investigation is the Napoles component, meaning kung saan may kinalaman yung mga Napoles NGOs. Okay. Tsaka mga whistleblowers. On, on that note, uh, Madam Secretary, no, I guess one of the questions yesterday was also, bakit yung Napoles uh, NGOs lang ang naiimbestigahan natin? Since doon naman daw po sa COA report, meron doon mga ibang ghost NGOs na nakalagay. Maybe you could give a comment on that. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, nung una po, ang focus is just the Napoles component by the NBI and continues to be the focus of the NBI. Pero yung the, the, the bigger the bigger uh, scope gawa nga nung linabas na uh, in the meantime yung uh, COA special report ay iniimbestigahan na rin po yan nung IAGSI. Kaya ho nauna itong Napoles dahil nga ho pumutok itong kaso na ito. Remember ho na all of this emanated from the serious illegal detention case of Ben Herloy. Kaya nauna po yung Napoles uh, uh, investigation. Although, sinabi rin ho ni uh, COA Chair Grace Tan na nung pumutok nga po itong uh, Napoles because of the uh, serious illegal detention case, ay uh, patapos na rin yung COA special audit or COA special report on the PDAF which covered 2007 to 2009 and uh, it's something that was ongoing when Grace Tan took over as the chair. So just to clarify, Madam, no, um, ito pong mga kasong na-file natin, pagdating sa Napoles-related NGOs, hindi ho ito yung huli. Meron pa tayong second and probably a third batch uh, of charges to be filed with the Ombudsman. Pangalawa, hindi lang ho yung Napoles yung iniimbestigan ho natin, other bogus NGOs will also be investigated. No? And They are being investigated already. now. Yes, uh -huh. by EAGC, which is a, 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 an interagency or a composite mm -hmm. fact-finding task force under the ages of EAGC with the Office of the Ombudsman as the lead agency, Your Honor. Okay, and a final question. I'm, I'm happy that you clarified that, no, Madam Secretary. On a final note, pagating po sa mga COA reports, no, because this has come to my attention, that there are a lot of COA reports which talk about irregularities. Is there, in, in the process, and I, I was hoping that, uh, Mr. Chairman, I was hoping that COA would be here. Maybe in the next hearing, we can invite them again, no? Um, pag meron pong irregularity or illegality ang COA report, is that automatically submitted to the DOJ or the NBI for investigation, or they determine whether this needs to be investigated or not? I'm not sure, Your Honor, if it's a matter of course, or it's something that is automatic that COA is supposed to, uh, Im I what, immediately or, or automatically refer the matter to DOJ or NBI. What I know is that there are offices to which COA would, as a matter of course, and I think it's mandated by law, if not the Constitution, to submit their reports. I think the Office of the President, the Senate, the House of Representatives, and the Office of the Ombudsman. But I don't think DOJ is part of the enumeration of in, the offices. In that case, uh, Madam Secretary, would you advise, as a course of policy in the future, that if there are irregularities seen by COA, that automatically this should be investigated uh, further? Because we've had reports that there have been COA reports in the past years which talk about irregularities, but nothing ever happens to them. No? And in this case, it took a special audit to be able to pinpoint all of these irregularities and, and illegalities. No? So baka po, no, in, in furtherance of uh, good governance and better policy, maybe we can, this can be a subject of another hearing, no, Mr. Chairman, or another um, policy discussion, that COA indeed has an automatic function where it should automatically have uh, these irregularities investigated. I think that is the existing policy already, Your Honor. And... Um, uh, my, my attention has just been called to the fact that there is a tripartite MOA between and among COA, CSC, Civil Service Commission, and the Ombudsman. I think that that tackles that. 
I think there's an existing mechanism by which the COA really refers to the office of the Ombudsman, its findings for appropriate action, and appropriate action would normally commence from the, with the uh, fact-finding investigation. Uh, in that case, Madam Secretary, it would be good to revisit this mechanism, and uh, maybe we can ask the other members of the tripartite group in the future you know, to, to also relate to us why you know, this, it needed a special audit report to be able to uh, uncover all of these irregularities. Kasi ho, kaya ho nandiyan yung COA para every year, kung meron hong nangyayaring ganyan, dapat alam na natin kaagad. No? And maybe instead of uh, 6 billion worth, if in 2007, we had already seen this, baka natigil na po ito ng mas maaga. So this can probably be a, be a subject for another hearing no? to find out how we can for improve the process so that we don't need special audit reports anymore and we don't have to parang uh, go back three or four years. Dapat to as it is happening, we should be able to, to know this right away. I hope the DOJ will be willing to help us on that. Certainly, Your Honor. Thank you very much, Madam Secretary. Mr. Chairman, thank you. Thank you, uh, Senator Bam. At this point, uh, Senator Alan Cayetano is recognized. Magandang umaga po sa ating po mga witnesses, uh, DOJ Secretary, mga kapwa miyembro ng committee. May proposal lang ako, Mr. Chair. Uh, pasensya na po kayo na late ako, pero napakarami ng affidavit. At ilan lang to, truck-truck ang dinala ng DOJ. Salamat po na.